on the air right now at six with major developments at our southern border. The Lukeville port of entry opening as we speak and all of this after a month long closure, allowing Border Patrol agents to help other ports of entry amid this surge in migrants. So we want to get to ABC 15's Amelia Fabiano who traveled down to Lukeville overnight in southern Arizona. Amelia, what are you seeing right now? Nick and Kaylee, it's been a bit of a slow start, but we are seeing several cars starting to line up here at the Lukeville port of entry this morning, waiting to go through now that the gates will be opening right here at six. You can see there's uh, about five vehicles here. A couple people uh, trying to go see family. We have one man who's from Ajo. He's trying to go see his sons right across the border. He said he had to make a seven hour drive, uh, which is much longer than what he normally has to do to get just past the border through the Lukeville port of entry here and I have Bill Williford here who's coming from the Phoenix area. Bill, how are you doing this morning? Uh, good. How, how long has it been since you've been able to get to Rocky Point? You said you live in Rocky Point. Right. Did you have to take a different route? Were you staying with someone yeah, in Phoenix? I had to go through San, uh, San Luis uh, last week. I had some business up there for a few days and um, just was originally going to come back yesterday until they said they were reopening the border. So this saves, you know, a bunch of time because it's not just the difference in drive time. You've got time to wait to just cross the border and then you've got stops. You just kind of, you could do a four hour drive, but without stopping, but you know, usually you need to make stops for things when it's yeah, absolutely. Plus hours, so. What was your reaction when this port of entry first shut down a month ago? Well, you know, obviously the people on both sides of the border, especially on this route, depend totally on the traffic here for their livelihoods. And I know businesses down in Rocky Point have really been struggling with this border closed because most people haven't been willing to take the other routes. Um, right. What has your experience been with that? Rocky Point, obviously a huge destination for people to come and visit. So how are they doing there? Well, it's been really, really quiet. And I know a lot of places have had to lay people off and cut hours back and things like that. So, yeah, it's been no fun. All right. How are you feeling here at six o'clock on the hour about I to head in? Can't wait. So, okay. yep. Awesome. Well, good luck with your travels. Thank you so much. Appreciate you chatting with us here. We'll let him get going so that as they start to open these gates here, he can get through. But they do still have the barricades up. Customs and Border Patrol here uh, starting to get things going, though. A lot of media, as you can tell out here, as we're getting ready for this port of entry to reopen. Right now it's 6. It is supposed to reopen, and it looks like they are getting ready to go. Can't quite make out the Mexican side from here if there's a lot of people lined up or what the deal is over there, but hopefully as the sun starts to come up and things start, oh, they are opening the barricade now. So it looks like this very first vehicle here is about to go through the Lukeville port of entry. Six o'clock here. Things are a little bit, uh, a little bit crowded as all these cars are trying to get going through, but they're moving the signs. It has been exactly one month that this port of entry has been shut down here in Lukeville. It is reopening right now at six. You're watching this live here. The very first vehicle going through the Lukeville port of entry. We have several people uh, honking at each other trying to get through. It's a little bit busy. People have been waiting for about a half hour here or so. There hasn't been a long line this morning or anything. Uh, fairly quiet, but a lot of people that we were talking to out here who have been waiting are expecting things to really pick up throughout the day. Again, this has been shut down for a month now. People have had to make much longer trips to get through the Mexico border, go to other ports of entry that are not shut down. So this is a huge relief for a lot of people that this port of entry is reopening right now. Business owners, as you just heard that man talking about, uh, definitely taking an economic hit from this where they haven't had tourists, they haven't had uh, the normal traffic that they've been able to, especially during one of the busiest times of the year. The December month is such a busy, busy time of year for that. So a lot of business owners we've been rechecking in with over the course of the past few weeks. This is the day they've been waiting for. And now the Lukeville Port of Entry is reopened this morning. So Nick and Kaylee, a huge day for people out here. We're going to continue keeping tabs. We'll let you know how things look again. Traffic. Uh, smooth going right now. There isn't a line of people. It was a very quiet drive down here from Phoenix this morning, but we'll let you know if it starts to pick up as we go throughout the morning. We'll be out here live through at least the next hour or two. We'll send it back to you. All right. Well, we do know that this isn't the only part of this story. Amelia, thank you for that live report. It's not the only port reopening today. Customs and Border Protection agents, they're also opening up crossings in Nogales, San Diego, and in Eagle Pass, Texas.